we're going to spend a few moments just exploring the site that we're going to be building in this series of tutorials. So this site is for an app that we have supposedly created. So it's just a fake app that is supposed to exist and it's an app for getting people around and it's called Move Me. So we can see here we've got on the screen a carousel. We can scroll through the carousel. It isn't scrolling on its own because my mouse was over it. If we take my mouse off it, it will scroll on its own and we'll move through things. It doesn't when we move our mouse over. So that's a nice touch with it. We've got a whole bunch of different headings over here with for different pages, which we'll look at in a moment. We've got a drop menu available here that link out to different social links. And all of the typography on here is our own custom typography, which we've brought in from Google Fonts. We're not using the regular typefaces that come with Bootstrap. We've got this intro text section here. We've got four circular images here and some text below it and some buttons. We've got sections here that split into two different parts. And then we've got some other sections down below where we've got block quotes and we've got tabable content on the screen here. And then a footer at the bottom. And so as you can see with a lot of this, we've got our own unique backgrounds in place and we've tried to customize it really as much as we can to help make it look a little bit different. We've got a blog page here as well and we can see the posts available on this side. And then over here, we've got a few different things that you usually find on a blog, such as search elements, different tags that they might have and latest things from Twitter. So those sorts of things go over onto our clients page and we've got a whole bunch of different clients that we supposedly work for. Obviously these don't exist so we've just got these little tool tips that appear that tell you which the clients are and then below this we've got some panels that open and close. So we're trying to show off as many different things as we can. On the contact page we just add in a Google map and we've got a form here. When we click the form to send we get like a thank you for submitting modal box over the top of this. So there's a whole bunch of nice things on here and the great thing about all of this is it's completely responsive. So as we get down to the smaller screens we can see there how it works and we've got the menu that still pops down over the top of that. The design still works on these pages as well. We can look at other pages like the blog and see that it's still all looking great. So hopefully with this, you'll be able to use this as a way to get to know Bootstrap really well. You'll be able to create some interesting pages and you'll be able to customize Bootstrap for your own personal needs as you start working with it.